as I said in an earlier episode, one could cheat and use a Gagugian power orb. But that would defeat the purpose of truly traveling about as a human would. And it's kind of fun. And you also know that if you get into trouble, you can always call upon Gogujian technology to um, bail you out, as it were. Ah, an annoying fly has latched on to me. Hmm, interesting. Interesting that I've decided that this fly is annoying when there are other animals, like the little bunny rabbit from earlier today, who was anything but annoying. They are both animals. But the bunny rabbit isn't flying around my ears. Boondocking, which is sometimes referred to as dispersed camping or dry camping, is defined as any time one camps without water, sewer, or electrical connections. While boondocking, I decided to check and test some of my equipment, particularly my Jackery 1000 battery. I'm just curious. I'm, I'm running the air conditioner on low, and there's also a dial from one to seven for coolness. I put it on six. It's currently at 96. Oh, 95. Okay, it's using power quickly. Let's do it for 10 minutes and see what happens. Okay, it's used 5% of the battery in five minutes. So, you probably run that air conditioner about an hour and a half, hour and 40. But you're not supposed to run the battery all the way down either. So, Anyway, I don't think that would be a good use of the battery out here. And it's supposed to be in the 90s, but it's quite cool now. It's a good breeze, cloud cover, sun is going down. And all this time I've had the battery, I've used it very little. I did charge it in the car a little bit. But I want to do solar panels. I have two of the solar panels up on the roof now. Although they're not getting much sun at this time. Oh. Seems you have to have the battery near the solar panels. Hmm. Is this the Anderson plug? It looks like it is. Okay probably need some sort of extender that I don't have. Ah, the extender is inside. Okay. <clears throat> the extender is inside the little zip bag of this solar panel. The timer just went off. 86, so roughly 10% to the battery used. But let's turn the air conditioner off right away. Let's not waste any more battery. We go. There's one cord from the solar panel. Interesting. The sun is already making some difference. The sun is very low over there. It's already making some difference, bringing it from 86 up to 87 in just a few moments. It might have been very close to 87 already. Here's my toilet. I have a toilet seat top also that to go on top of it. I can't quite find it in the Jeep. Uh, and I also have a small privacy pod tent, which I can put up if it seems like that is needed. 
Again, I am alone out here. I should say, it has been nice to have this little emergency toilet along, but in 48, 49 days of travel and camping, I've not used it once. I've always either used a, a toilet at the campsite or at a, a restaurant or a gas station. I haven't had to use it once, but it's nice to have just in case. I've torn the Jeep apart and I cannot find the toilet seat. I don't need the toilet seat, but I just thought I would have it ready. I can't find it anywhere. That's so crazy. Oh well, I guess we'll put the stuff back in now. The Jackery battery is supposed to charge in 14 hours with the solar panels. Seems like a long time, but uh, that's what it said in the instructions. Now, what, did, what was it? It was at 86% uh, because I ran the air conditioner test and put the solar panels out and plugged them in and with the waning sun. And about 23 minutes later, here's where we're at. 99%, so it went from uh, roughly 87 to 99 percent in 23 minutes. It seems quite good. Input, you can see the input levels. Six to nine watts coming in. I wonder what the output would be. I do have the the trailer plugged in, but I don't think there are any electrical things running currently. Ah, there we go, 100%. Well, good morning. I'm at my dispersed campsite. Anyway, let's take a look at the, let's take a look at what's going on. It looks like it's a hovering around 85 to 88 with the sun peering through the clouds. Oh. Seems to be a little more sun now. I don't know what it would be if the sun was full on with no clouds. And uh, I'm charging a, a couple of little devices that are taking up a little energy. The sun is working faster, obviously, than the, the two little devices are pulling away energy. I don't think it would take 14 hours for this to charge today, but because I have two solar panels. But I, I'm not going to be around for 14 hours to see if that will be the case. <laughs> We're going to move on to the next place. The sun gets more intense and the, I suppose the charging of the devices is perhaps maybe reached an end on at least one device. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the boondocking experience. While on my drive to the next destination, I further charged the portable battery using my Jeep's cigarette lighter outlet. The input was about 74 to 75 watts. In the next episode, we leave Arizona and head on to California. Many new adventures await. See you next time. By the way, very quickly, if you like the show, consider Buy Me A Coffee to help support the show. Buy Me A Coffee is a great way for creators and artists to accept one-time support or membership ongoing from their fans for the price of a coffee. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash brainfire to help the show. Thank you. Coffee and some bagels And get out of here To where the weather is clear